It's easy to revolve our lives around what we want in life. We set habits and rituals to help motivate us to get closer each day. We listen to motivational podcasts, spend time learning, working, and only taking moments for ourselves before we get right back to it. We do these things over and over and over. Our days start to all look the same because we are only thinking of that one thing we want so badly. Soon, we've lost touch with why we even started in the first place. We wonder if that moment of achievement will ever come. I put way too much pressure on myself. I set the bar so high and I expect myself to reach that level with everything that I do. And because of that, I naturally have a lot of days where I end up disappointing myself and I break down because I'm convinced that what I'm doing is not good enough. And it gets to my head. I think it's good to have goals in your life and to tell yourself this is where I want to be in X amount of years. But I think it's more important to have a healthy relationship with yourself. I was talking to Angel about this the other day, how both of us can be pretty hard on ourselves when we're grinding in our jobs or, you know, towards a goal. We both get really upset with ourselves when we are not pushing and giving it our all every single day, every moment of every day. But I think instead, we need to just have the mindset of, I gave the energy that I could today. And that's okay. At, at least it was even a smidge closer to my goal than where it was yesterday. And not expect us every day to be able to do things at 100%. Because that's just not, that's just not gonna happen. <laughs> First off, you get tired. You're exhausted, you get burnt out. And second, we're just not perfect. <laughs> If it was that easy to give it your all every single day, then everybody would be achieving their goals. Everyone would be able to move forward and not have bad days. I've been finding myself a lot lately having thoughts of wanting to quit what I'm doing, just stop, I, I'm just gonna go, I'm just not gonna have social media anymore and I just don't care. And that's when I know that I'm pushing myself a little too hard and my expectations for myself are a little too high. I think it's good that I believe in myself, but it starts to turn into a negative thing when I am just like constantly telling myself, you can do better, you can get farther, you can give more energy. And then I start to, I start to react off of all that and it usually ends up being a really bad day. <laughs> and me breaking down and having those thoughts of quitting. Even though I would not want to quit because what the heck would I do with, like what would I do with my life, you know? I know that we all struggle with this to some extent. Some people it's really bad. There are some people out there that are just so hard on themselves. Nothing is ever good enough. And then there's other people who, they're hard on themselves, you know, when they need to be, but like they're more chill, but it still affects them. You still have days like this where you're just like, dang, I'm just over it. <laughs> And this was a day where I was like, what did I just put on my plate? Why did I decide to just jump right into this project, this, these daily vlogs and turning it into like, trying to make it like a reality TV show. Like, what did I just do to myself? And I was like, there's no way I can do this. Most days I don't have that much going on. And so my life is boring. Who wants to watch this? And I start to have all these thoughts that I'm not good enough and I'm not doing enough. I'm not interesting enough. Like, why even try? Like, nobody's going to want to watch this stuff. But ugh, I'm so glad I have Angel because I was talking to him about that. And he was like, no, what you're doing is interesting. Like, people want to see your life. They want to see the lows. They want to see the boring days. They want to see the awesome days. Like, they want to see it all. It's good hearing that because when I actually hear someone say it, I'm like, okay, okay, yeah, no, you're right. Like everyone wants to see 
well not everyone, but the people who do watch, like they want to see everything. Because I have to think about it, if I was watching someone else do this, I would want to see everything too. I would want to see the highs and the lows and everything in between. I wouldn't want to just see awesome things time after time because that's not realistic. You know, like I want you guys to be able to relate with me. I want you guys to watch e each episode and be like, oh yeah, been there, done that. <laughs> like today, it was a rough day, but you know, I just had to cry it out. I had a moment where I wanted to give up, but then I got myself together again. And I know a lot of people can relate to that. I'm not perfect. And I know I'll continue to be hard on myself when I'm not putting out like what I think is a good episode, but I'm trying to learn to just be happy with what I have, make the best of what I have for that day, and just put it out there because I know that there's at least one person who's going to enjoy that episode. But I just wanted to put this out as a reminder to you guys that everyone has hard days. Heck, some people struggle every single day. I'm in a phase in my life where I'm struggling every day. And I know that it's because I'm kind of in a huge turning point in my life as far as growth goes. And so there's a lot of like conflict within me and a lot of like figuring out who the heck I am and what's going on in my brain. And I know a lot of people can relate to that. So yeah, you guys are not alone with your struggles. It's completely normal. Don't ever think that something's wrong with you. I'm not gonna lie, I thought something was wrong with me today. I was like, what the heck is wrong with me? Why do I keep having thoughts of quitting? You know, it's normal especially if you're working really hard every day at something that you want to achieve. Yeah, you're gonna get tired and <laughs> you're gonna wanna quit. That's just, that's normal. But don't give up on what you guys are doing, even on hard days. Hard days are the worst because you're gonna wanna quit everything you're doing, but don't do it. Maybe just stop for that day, go to sleep, and hopefully the next day will be better. And if it's not, just, you know, maybe take a day off. Go do something that lifts your spirit so then you can get back to work. But don't give up. Anyway, those are my thoughts on that. I think that's all I have to say.